marks, reviews, and tutorials videos. The coolant system on a BMW. We're on an 06 1 series here, but uh, these guys have got pipes going everywhere. I think back to my first 67 Falcon, and there was just, you know, coolant coming out of the engine, going to the radiator, and then going back down at the bottom, and that was it. But here, even though the top radiator hose here is pretty straightforward, it's still got little T pieces coming off it here and bleed screws and all sorts of stuff. That's the top radiator hose there. But you can see there's hoses running around, particularly down here where the thermostat is. Um, you see down here, that's the thermostat there off to the side. And uh, there's a hose coming off the top. That is the shielded one that goes into the block. It's shielded because the exhaust pipes are right there. And then there's three actual fittings come off the top of that thermostat running to different places. One of them runs here to the overflow tank. Um, you can see the fitting coming off the bottom of it right there. That, that fitting there runs down to the thermostat, but there's three come off the top of that. So why they've done it external? I suppose the reality is that external hoses are easier to replace than doing it all internally and molding it. But they've got water running everywhere. You've got water coming back here as well. I'll put a link up to the bleed procedure, how to get the air out of the system when you've given it a big top up. I'll put that link. Uh, and here, you've got your reservoir. Um, again, one series is all made to reduce weight, so all of this stuff is in plastic. It's not in metal. Um, and you know what? This car is now 16 years old, so it's actually done pretty well um, so as far as survival rate. But I have just finished replacing uh, this top hose down here, the one with the shielding on it. I'll put a link up here as well so you can see the procedure of replacing that hose. But pretty much your thermostat is down there. If you're after parts, um, I'll put a link to another video up here. I'm going to put a video up of how to find parts for your BMW, be it coolant tubes, be it radiator overflow tanks, be it anything for any part of it. Uh, you can get onto schematics, onto schematics and lists uh, on the internet and uh, find the actual part and part number. And once you've got the part number, uh, you can then type stuff into the internet and get, you know, A, you can ring up BMW and get an exact price on the part that you're after, but you can also look at um, alternative supplies as well. So there you go, that is the coolant system. Um, of course, you've also, down here, another important part, you've got pipes running back to the heater as well. They're actually down there. This here is an auxiliary motor, which runs water back to the heater core, and the flow and return are above and below that. So that's part of your coolant system as well. And the other thing that this guy's got right down here on the bottom of the radiator on that side, you see that silver thing right there? That's actually the transmission oil comes in and the radiator water flows through around that as well. So that's your system to um, cool the automatic transmission is down there and screwed onto the bottom of the radiator as well. So there's just a few basic pointers. I've got a video of actually replacing the radiator in this. So for a three series, a one series or an X1, they all have the same radiator part number. So um, have a look at the link for that as well and you'll see how to um, switch out a complete radiator.